to deal with things in, in different ways. And you know, being in, in the American Hockey League for a few years now, there is a lot of adversity. And I think it comes down to just pushing to be the best. That's something I've always strived to, to do my whole life. When I wake up or do face adversity or challenges like that, that's that's the end. That's the end result. Just being the best I can and playing at the highest level possible. And right now we're close, but fortunate enough we do have another level to reach, and, and that's what that's what motivates me every day. I think it's just kind of you know who I am. My, the lessons my, my parents taught me growing up. I've always been the type of guy that's that has been put behind the eight ball in whatever situation I've been in. So you know now it, whenever it happens, I just I know I can get through it, and you'll get through it if you stay true to who you are and what you believe in. I think it's a little bit of a, a mix of obviously having you know personal goals and not not uh, having fulfilled them to to the potential as of yet. You know there's still another level to get to. But also just with everything going on, just being able to see like the guys every day and the great coaching staff here. So just being involved in that social kind of camaraderie that comes with, you know, obviously a lot of pressure trying to win games and stuff. But then the, just the everyday grind of, you know, showing up for practice, seeing the guys. And, and uh, that's when you get to this point, that's kind of that's a huge factor. You know? Accepting, accepting that there's going to be struggles and hard times, and just embracing it. Embrace the suffering. I think is kind of what you have to go through. That's my own, that's my own, you know, little little saying to kind of give myself. Whether it's tough times, you're on a long road trip, you know, you're injured, you're playing through it, things like that. Just embrace the suffering. You know, if you have that perspective, you've been through enough situations like that, and you know, you do, you live the madness, or you go through it and you grind. It's, it's. A lot of the time, it's the times you look back on and say, you know what, that was that was some of the best times I've had. Whether you're going to war with with brothers or buddies like that in our business, and something you can really look back on and just say that that that, that was actually a good time. Yeah, in the, in the pro hockey world, it's tough, man. Like you know, there's at camp we had 60 guys fighting for you know 24 spots or whatever it is. So. Um, everyone believes they're, they're capable of being there, um, so just the mental struggle of, of looking around and seeing how many guys there are and how many few spots is, is a bit of the madness. Um, and then, you know, it just continues down here, you know, there, there's a bunch of guys down here fighting for spots still and, and everyone's fighting towards that ultimate goal of, you know, being in the big leagues. So, um, you know, there, there's a lot of madness that goes on, you know, from, from day to day, whether it be injuries and guys getting called up or you know, coming the other way, guys get set down and, and added to the log jam. But, um, you know, again, just kind of staying true to yourself and believe in, in who you are and, and what you've, you've done to get to that point to, to get you through it. I think in our sport, just trusting the process a lot. You know, um, it's a, hockey's a crazy business. You got, you know, guys coming up and down. And I think you just got to be able to be true to yourself and, you know, do the same things over and over again. You know, stick to your routine. Stick, stick to what works and don't kind of get involved in things that you can't control. Just work on the things that you can't control and then that will kind of bring a more positive outcome to, to things in the long run if you don't get caught up in all the, in all the madness. Yeah, I think just, just finding the positives in it. No matter what you're doing, there's, there's going to be times that are tough, there's going to be times that are hard, but if you can find a way to stay positive through it, ultimately you know that's going to pay off longer in the long run. If you, if you go into it just looking at the negatives or worrying about what could go wrong or or you know what what has gone wrong you're not going to find any enjoyment out of it and you know you're ultimately going to make it harder on yourself believe me i've been there you know i've been you know as, as a lot of us we've been there um you know a lot of guys growing up are, are the best part of their team but you know in some cases that's not the case in some cases there's those those late bloomers as we like to call them where you know no one ever kind of gave them a good luck or, or a fair shake but somehow some way they kept pushing they kept working and, and you know, eventually somebody saw them at the right time and, and you know, here they are even, you know, in, in the big leagues. So um, as long as you stay true to yourself and you really want it and, you know, dream about it and you, you do whatever you can to make that dream come true, I, I truly believe that, you know, eventually if you really believe in it and you put in the work, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. You know, if, if you truly love what you're doing, then, then keep pushing through no matter what because the rewards outweigh the the negative things that come with it and you know some days you might feel tired or you know you had a bad day and you're not sure if you want to keep doing it but I think uh, I think when you get to the position that we're in you've, you've had some of the best experiences you have in your life all of my best memories have come from from this sport luckily enough all the guys I've met so if you really love it just keep pushing because at the end of the day the reward is is truly something that you'll you'll remember for a long time